well, good afternoon and welcome back to you watching on the radio. Another update came through of two male lions apparently. They found about two to three kilometers south of Rockford. Could be Vuelas, could be Skoros. Let's go have a look. I'll see you there. Just managed to obtain visual of them. They walked into the block, two males. Chew who they are. Let's try and figure this out. Now, to be honest, at first glance from the back, it doesn't look like the Vuelas. Hopefully, they go static, tensely thick block we're moving in. It definitely looks like one of the five Vuela brothers, actually two together. Uh, active much earlier, it's very cool on this afternoon safari, so un understandably so that they up and mobile. tree scratching behavior just to stretch those ligaments and the claws and leave a scent behind with those interdigital glands as well. They are after all territorial males. It's intensely difficult to get up ahead of these boys to get some frontal shots of their face but um, this is also good. Metabolism speeding up after waking up with the walk. Time to do his business there. It's unwise to drive over that, guys. It'll make your eyes tear up. You'll be scarred for life. No lion cat is intensely stinky, eh? Look like these boys need a good feed. I see some vertebrae popping out there, but uh, lions in the wild are fairly lean and mean typically, so they're still in good shape. At least they've gone static momentarily, maybe they vocalize, although they look fairly hungry, so oh, when is a lion not hungry? Typically never, but uh, they are static at the moment. His brother is right in front of him. There's a vulture actually following these guys, a white-backed vulture that's uh, static up in a tree close by. be two of the brothers that frequents the area where the sock breakaway females and their sub-adults are walking. Did hear on the radio this morning their tracks were found in this area a little bit further south. 
three river pride lionesses was found this morning much further north maybe about three to four kilometers to the north from here these boys could be going towards their brothers that's uh, close to the river pride Now well, this definitely warmed up the cold weather this uh, afternoon. We're gonna go for our sundowner stops and enjoy a gin and tonic. But again from the Timbavati Game Reserve, I'll be sure to catch you in the very next sighting. Thanks for watching guys, always appreciate. Cheers for now. Hi there, good morning, welcome back to Heartbeat of the Timbavati. We are on an approach for a male lion and a lioness. I'm thinking River Pride and Boyela after the previous sighting of following the two brothers uh, and sorry, Christoph, quite a dense thicket. One Madura and three Mafazengala. Uh, oh, it's so actually one male and three lionesses. Let's go. So we've found the lions and looks like our timing is a little bit out of seeing them being active but they're all sleeping soundly. It does look like three river pride females and one voyela. They probably about three to four kilometers to the south of where their den site is. It's another male that just stood up. It's a very dense area, another terminalia or low felt cluster leaf belt. Perfect for lions to sleep in when it gets warm. But not easy to get visual of all of the pride members if they're already settled. So, so far it's two male lions with three lionesses over here. to echo from that they probably haven't hunted successfully in the last two to three days so that's why they also traveled this far during the night so you're right they do look hungry but we don't look tasty luckily not eh Another vehicle about to join, moving into the location here. It was a fairly quiet morning, so everybody's quite content to come and join this sighting. It just shows you how habituated they are towards the vehicles. Didn't even lift up a head. 
move an eyebrow, twitch a whisker with the approach of this vehicle. The Drakensberg escarpment there in the distance behind the lions, apply the River Canyon. Absolute marvelous morning. It was fairly misty this morning. Now with the sun two hours over the horizon, it's warming up nicely. This is the last little update. Apparently there was a new den site discovered uh, yesterday afternoon. They closed the area off because they say the cubs are barely three weeks old. It's possible that two of the adult lionesses in the River Pride gave birth to two sets of cups. We're not completely sure, but in time we will definitely learn how many cups there would be. We're looking forward to them. But until next time, thanks for watching again, folks. Thanks for all the support from the Timbavati Game Reserve. This is Christoph Skuman. Until next time, stay safe and cheers for now.